welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we're gonna spice things up a little bit with the artist Den, who is a beatboxer. This is not in my wheelhouse at all, but one of our patrons actually recommended this artist to me. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to talk about vocal technique, but I am very excited to see what he does. So, here we go. Yo, guess who I'm battling next? Who? Jordox. Who's that? Why did you want me like it's nothing Your love is bringing me down This love is killing me now You fade up Okay, I'm sorry. I <laughs> I'm going back. This is not your mama's beatboxing. Like not what I anticipated hearing when I think of beatboxing. I don't know. Um okay. We're going back. Um, it took me a minute to, obviously I knew this was all like vocal percussion, you know, it was all acapella. There wasn't any, you know, added music, but for some reason when he first started, it didn't click for me because it just sounded like I was hearing the beginning of like a backing track. Um, also his voice is beautiful. Like his singing voice is just so lovely. So, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to add much to this, but I, I'm going to try. I don't know. I'm just like so amazed right now. Okay. Back to the beginning. Yo, guess who I'm battling next? Who? Jordox. You can actually, you can hear a little bit in his speaking voice. He's got like really gorgeous, like forward placement, but a bit of like depth to that to that tone. So it makes sense that he's able to create all these other sounds because he's got like really balanced like vocal production. Who's that? Right here. Yeah, when this first started, I had no idea. I had no idea that this was him actually starting the performance. Who's that? Okay, I can comment a little. Like, that gorgeous head voice that comes in is so beautiful. You get this boomy, rich bass sound, and then he flips over into that head resonance. It's it's so cool. Why did you want me like it's nothing Your love is bringing me down This love is killing me now You fade up The way he's doing so much at one time, I just had a, a little epiphany um, or a theory. I don't know what we're going to call this. I talk a lot about tension. Obviously, jaw tension and tongue tension seem to be the major culprits today for a lot of singers. When you are doing all of this articulation with your tongue, and it's not just, you know, the tip of the tongue, it's the root of the tongue, it's the way you position the tongue in the mouth. Um, 
on top of everything else he's doing. Like, <laughs> but we're just talking about the tongue right now. It requires so much dexterity and so much flexibility and um, so much control over your tongue, like those muscles. Um, and so I, I'm going to say, I think one of the reasons we're getting such gorgeous tone from him is the lack of tension in his tongue and his jaw because he has such incredible control over those muscles and how he uses them that they're just he's able to keep them completely neutral completely relaxed when he's you know creating these gorgeous sounds i i don't know that's my theory where i'm gonna back it up a little bit i just the way he i'm not gonna experiment on camera but the way he's you know humming and then also articulating with his tongue i it's just next level it's so good so much variety just then hold on i love that last part i i i'll pause when i get to that sound <laughs> That, 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 that. It's almost like uh, uh, such. It's a gorgeous fry. I don't know what else he's doing in conjunction with that. And I also love his use of like oral cavity space. Like some of these sounds are produced so far back, and then others are like kept forward. And at the same time as well. You know, like he's making all of these noises with like his tongue and his lips. And then at the same time, using backspace to create other sounds simultaneously. It's just so much. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Okay, I can't say a little bit more on his actual vocal production. It's, we're getting a head voice. He's also like so seamless in his mix. And I imagine, again, he's developed that because of how willing he is to just play with his voice to create all these sounds. Um, there are moments where the phonation is a little breathier, so you can hear that relaxation um, in his laryngeal muscles, but also then there are moments that it just feels so boomy and so powerful <laughs> and so full. So you can tell, like, he... Oh, man, I just my mind is racing just the amount of i mentioned you know control over his his articulators his tongue his jaw but also um those laryngeal muscles like they are getting a workout just uh okay okay let me go back stayed whenever you were breaking down you know these days are crying out not around That was there was another new sound I didn't recognize before. Fatal That one, it's like almost like he's tightening his embouchure a little bit to get that sort of mm. 
I'm, I, I can't even demonstrate. It, instead of like a raspberry, like when we do like, or lip trills when it's a little looser, tightening that, almost like, almost like you're playing a, um, a brass instrument. Um, let me do that one more time. Why did you want me? And why did I want you? Love is a killer, and I never learn. I want you to let go. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't think I'm going to be able to say anything, but I want to go back to that last section because again, I feel like I just got so many new sounds. This is only what, three minutes? My goodness. Okay. Let's back it up a smidge. I want you to let go. I'm loving this depth that we're getting from his sound. And also you can hear some of that nasal resonance coming in just because um, it's got this gorgeous like bright timbre to it as well. I... <laughs> and there i love oh it started almost like a, a lip buzz and then turned into phonation <laughs> That was incredible. Um, I'm speechless. I just am so amazed by what this man can do with his voice. Loved the composition as a whole. Um, I feel like there was a lot of dimension in it. I love that we got, you know, a recognizable melody. We had some text in there. Um, and but his like choices and how they just supported the entire piece, I think it was just so cool to watch. And I want to go like explore my own voice now. I think that's like the sign of a great artist to inspire and maybe challenge people to try something they haven't before. And whilst I know I have limitations. <laughs> Um, at the very least, just the kind of the freedom and the motivation and the courage to, to try, I think, is a beautiful thing. So um, that's it for today. This was so fascinating and mesmerizing and just wonderful to watch. Um, thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.